I get a lot of pushback from people when I say free will isn't free. But what I mean is that it has to be earned. Just like when you become lucid in a dream, the first time you sort of wake up in a dream, you're like, whoa, I'm dreaming. Ah, and then you wake up because <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm in another dimension. I'm in a dream dimension. I can't believe it. It's a wild experience. Then you have to learn how to continuously do that. And that's not freely given. You have to learn that. You have to earn that. There's a reason why earn, E-A-R-N, is in learn, right? It's something that you have to earn. Free will isn't free. It is earned. In his neuroscience lab, he wired up subjects to an EEG machine measuring brain activity via electrodes on their scalps and then asked them to choose to perform a simple hand movement when they felt like it. He also got them to record the time at which they made a conscious decision to move their hands. Disconcertingly, he found evidence of brain activity initiating the movement hundreds of milliseconds before the conscious decision was reported. In other words, his experiments seemed to show that the conscious decision didn't cause the movement. The brain activity bringing about movement started before the individual willed anything to happen. Some people think this is proof that free will is an illusion, that our conscious decisions are more like reports on what is already happening than the causes of our action. Libet didn't go that far. He thought that we might not have free will, but there's still time for what some have called free won't, a conscious veto of an action that is started in the brain. There's still time for what some have called free won't, a conscious veto of an action that is started in the brain.